Today let's learn about e-paper displays and how it can be used with a microcontroller like Arduino. While most of us are familiar with display modules like OLED display, TFT display and LCD display, this e-paper display or e-ink display has one big advantage, which is this. Yes, these displays do not need power to retain the content and hence it's perfect for low powered battery applications. So let's start the video. The most popular e-paper display in the market is this one. This is the 1.54 inch e-paper display from Waveshare. And this particular module here is the version 2. So to get a better understanding, let's start by looking at the pinout of this module. Now this display over here has a total of 8 pins as you can see here. Out of these 8 pins, the first 2 pins are VCC and ground used to power the module. The next 4 pins are used for SPA communication to be particular. The first pin for communication is the data in, then clock, then chip select and then data command pin. So all these 4 pins are used for communicating and displaying the required characters or images on this e-paper display. The other two pins are the reset pin which can be used to reset the display and the busy pin which is an output pin to indicate that the display is currently busy and cannot process any of the instructions coming from the SPI. Now to get a better understanding if you take a look at the module you can see there are a lot of components on the back side. On the front side we only have the display. So let's know what are these components on the back side by taking a look at this image. On a side-by-side -side comparison, you can notice that the display has a connector here, which is the interface connector and a display connector over here. Apart from that, one important IC over here is the level shifter IC, which you can find on the module over here. And we have a voltage regulator IC over here. Apart from that, we have a lot of bypass capacitors, a gate driver voltage circuit and a reset control circuit for the reset pin. To understand what exactly these components are doing, we might want to take a look at the circuit diagram. If we are just interfacing this with Arduino, then we need not worry about any of these. But if you're going to use this display in your project and you want all of these in your PCB, you might want to know how these components work and why these components are even present. Apart from that, you can also notice that we have mounting holes on the four directions. If you're mounting it on an enclosure to hide all these parts, the dimensions for these mounts are shown over here. Next, before we get into interfacing this module with Arduino Uno, let's talk about few pros and cons of an e-paper display. The biggest advantage of an e-paper display is that it can operate on very low power and it does not have any backlight making it easy to read and that is the reason it is used in Amazon Kindle and other popular e-readers. Apart from that, you can also select a portion of the display and just update that instead of refreshing the complete screen and it also works very well even under bright light. The major disadvantages according to me is that it takes at least 2 seconds to update the complete display, it is expensive and it requires more programming space compared to other traditional display modules. Ok, enough theories. Let's see how to interface the e-paper display with Arduino. All you have to do is just follow the circuit diagram and make the connections. We have simply connected these 8 pins to our Arduino Uno. We have used the 5 volt and ground pin to power our e-paper display. And then pin number 9, 10, 11 and 13 is used for SPI communication as shown here. And pin number 7 and 8 is connected to reset and busy. Next, let's connect our Arduino board to our computer and look at how we can program our e-paper display. If you're beginning to learn how to program the e-paper display, I recommend the following resources. One is this wiki page from Waveshare itself. The second is our article on how to connect it with Arduino. And the third is a GitHub code. And the final one is a software used to display images on e-paper display. So let's start with the wiki page. Here you can find all the technical details of this. For the coding section, you can see there is a section called download the program. Over here, you can select which development board you are using. For now, we are using Arduino and for Arduino, you can see there is an option called download the program. Once you download the program, you will find three important folders here. One is Arduino, the another is Raspberry Pi and STM32. Click on Arduino and then select the 
EPD 1.54 inch version 2. Do not select the other ones. This is what our display here is. So select that one and open the Arduino you know code. And here you will find that along with the main file, the code opens all the required C++ and uh, header files. So let's click on upload. Make sure you have selected the right board and port. Okay, so once the demo code is uploaded, this is what you will see on your e-paper display. You will see some example text and some drawings. Let's take a look at the code. Under void setup, we have set the width as 200 and then 400. All of this is in the example code. You can see it shows how you can display text. So first, hello world is discovered as uncolored, which you can see here. And then e-paper demo is displayed as colored, which displays like this. And then further moving on, you can see that we have set the width to 6464 and then we have displayed a normal rectangle, which is this one. And then we have drawn two lines, which is the X over here. And then we have drawn a circle, which is a colored circle, which you can see over here. And then we have drawn an uncolored rectangle and the command here is draw fill rectangle. Notice the difference. This was draw rectangle. This was draw fill rectangle. We give the position and size. We tell whether it is colored or uncolored and it appears over here. Similarly, we draw a filled circle, give its position and tell if it is colored or uncolored and the display result comes over here. After these basic functions, you can also notice that we have used something to display images. Now let me show you what happens when we are trying to display images, which is a tutorial written by us on our website. You can see all the details, including the ones which I have already explained, the circuit diagram, and here we have proper explanation for the code. And if you further come down, you will notice that we have explained how to display your custom images on the e-paper display. Apart from that, we have already done a comparison. So this display over here consumes about seven to nine milliamps only when it is refreshing and it consumes around 0.02 milliamps, which is from the Arduino microcontroller when it is on standby mode. So it's very good for battery powered applications. And then to show you how to display images, we also have this github repo which is again circuit digest github repo it shows all the images which was shown earlier so let me quickly show you that program as well so this is the code what we have done is we have modified the code a little bit to display different images and the data for all these images can be found in the image data.cpp header file as you can see for image one, this is the CPP data. Now, where are we getting this CPP data from? That's where this website comes into picture, which is image to CPP from uh, javl.github. All you have to do is select an image. Make sure the image that you're selecting is 200 cross 200 because our display's resolution here is 200 cross 200. So select an image, make sure it's vector, make sure it's 200 cross 200 and then the size everything is automatically calculated here preview or you know code everything is automatically done here just click on generate code and you will see this cpp data so this is what we have used to load all the images into our display and in the main file we are just displaying it using the display path base image command if i hit on upload you can notice that the code is uploaded and all the images are starting to appear on the display over here so that is it guys. This is how an e-paper display works. This is how you can use it with Arduino and program it. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Have a good day. Tata. Bye bye.